welcome back everyone my name is sagar and we are back here with another video so today's day 190 of our potd series and uh, today this question name is absolute difference divisible by k and this is given a very easy question so first of all we are given an array of integer of size n so there is an array integer array of size n and we are also given an integer k and we have to find all the pairs from that array whose absolute difference is div divisible by k so that means we are given an array so we will just select two numbers a and b so suppose these are two integers from our array and we have to find that absolute difference should be divisible by k so when we subtract these two values and we have their absolute difference so math.f that is the function to get absolute difference and when we have the absolute difference so suppose this is equal to x so we have to tell that x should be divisible by k so that means when we are writing x mod k so that remainder should be equal to 0 so that is the condition we have to satisfy so when we are dividing some x that is the absolute difference of two numbers from our array so when we are dividing it with k so the remainder should be equal to 0 so that means we can also write it here a minus b so that is our x mod k equal to 0 so that is the condition and we can just use here our modulo property that is the exact same for our when we are talking about addition so we can just say a mod k minus b mod k and uh, that will be equal to 0 so that should be equal to 0 right so how can we say these things are this these things should be equal to 0 so when these two are these two are equal to each other so we also have here mod k so how when uh, the when can be the absolute difference of these two values will be 0 so this is the only condition when these both values are equal so that means a mod k should be equal to b mod k so that these are the only two pairs that we have to select so the numbers should have their mod k values equal to each other so that means when we divide any number with k so they will have some remainder so suppose this is our first number so let me just take an example here so if you can't understand let me just give you some example 3 7 11 so what is the uh, what is the difference what is the remainder when we divide this 3 with our k so k, k is equal to 4 so I will just write here k is equal to 4. So 3 mod 4. 3 mod 4. That is equal to. Uh, okay. 3 mod 4. That is equal to four, 3 here. And when we are writing 7 mod 4. 7 mod 4. So that is also equal to 3. And when we are writing 11 mod 4. So 11 mod 4. That is also equal to 3. So that means the remainder when we are dividing 3 with 4 is 3. And when we are dividing 7 with 4 is also 3. And uh, same for 11. So that means there are three numbers which have the same absolute difference. So you can see this is this is the condition that they are satisfying. So this is our first number. We can consider it as three, and this is our second number. So we can take here seven, or we can also take here eleven. So seven or eleven can be also here. So there are two pairs now. So three with seven and three with eleven. Their absolute their remainder is equal to each other. So we can also make a pair with them. So three and seven. 3 and 7 can be a pair which have a absolute difference divisible by k so you can also calculate it so 7 minus 3 that will be equal to 4 and 4 is obviously divisible by 4 so and when we are talking about 11 and 3 so you can also take that example 11 minus 3 so that will be equal to okay 7 and 8 yeah so 8 and 8 is also divisible by k that is here 4 so we can make pair of these two numbers 3 and 7 and 3 and 11 and also 7 and 11 also have their same remainder so 7 and 11 can also make a pair so that means there can be total of three pairs but uh, how can we find it so first of all we have to get these things that is all the numbers remainder with k so we have to get that thing so first of all let me just tell you some another example so this so 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 and uh, value of k is equal to 2 so k is equal to 2 i will just write it here so k is equal to 2 so first of all 1 mod k so first of all 1 mod k that is equal to 1 mod 2 is equal to 1 and 2 mod 2 so 2 mod 2 equal to 0 and 3 mod 2 it is also equal to 1 so 3 mod 2 is also 1 and 4 mod 2 is also 0 so you can just uh, see here one thing that uh, all the numbers that can be present after after getting remainder of uh, all the numbers right so when we have some number and when we are using here some number n modulo k 
so whenever whenever we are doing this this will al always return us a remainder and that remainder should be always will be always lesser than k so you can also see that thing 1010 0, 0, that is always lesser than 2 and here we were getting 3 and that is always lesser than 4 so that is the thing we are gonna get so we will just store that thing in our array and that array will have a length lesser than k okay it will have a length equal to k and the index will be lesser than k right so we will just store an array we will create an array of size k so here we have k equal to 2 so we will get an array of size 2 and after that we will just store that value that 0 r 0 is here two times and 1 is here two times so that means now we have to make pairs with them so how many numbers are there which have same remainder 0 so how many so this is so this is zero index that means the numbers which have remainder as 0 and this is index 1 that means there are numbers which have remainder equal to 1 so how many number are there which have same remainder as 0 so there are two numbers which have a same remainder as 0 and there are two numbers which have a same remainder as 1 so there are two numbers that means there is one pair and there are also two numbers that means there is one pair so the total answer will be 1 plus 1 2 pair and uh, i think this is going complex and uh, let me just clarify it more so let me just give you some this example again so this is this was our example and k is equal to 4 so this was our example so first of all we were getting we were creating an array of size k so this is our four size array 1 2 3 4 and after that when uh, every time we were doing remainder of all the values with k so first of all 3 mode k so 3 mode 4 3 mode 4 will be equal to 3 so we have to add that value to our 3 index so 3 2 1 0 so we have to increment the index index value at 3 so that means there is one number which have a remainder equal to 3 right and after that 7 mode 4 so 7 mode 4 also equal to 3 so we will just again increment this number so that means there are now two numbers which have a remainder equal to this index that is 3 so two numbers which have a same remainder of 3 and after that we will just do 11 mode 4 so 11 mode 4 will be also equal to 3 so that means here we will increment it so that means there are three numbers which have same remainder so when when there are three numbers 3 7 11 so all these are three numbers that have their same remainder and uh, we just know this condition that uh, if they have the same remainder then uh, they will just satisfy this condition and if they are satisfying this condition they will have absolute difference which is divisible by k so i hope now you understand is why we have to find same absolute uh, same the remainder values so after that let me just tell you how many if there are three numbers which have same remainder how can we find total number of pairs so suppose there are three numbers right which have same remainder so first of all three will make a pair with seven and three will make a pair with eleven and after that seven can make a pair with eleven so there are total of three pairs when we have three numbers and uh, suppose for some big example so when have when we have five numbers so suppose there are these five numbers so this first so there are n numbers so let me make it more generic so you can also remember that formula and if you can't remember the formula let me just tell you how we can generate that so when there is n number so this first number can make pair with n minus one other numbers right so there are total of n numbers and this number can make pair with other n minus one number so there are n minus one pair right plus how many numbers this number can make how many pairs this number can make so this number can make pair with other n minus 2 numbers because this is covered so so this is covered so n n will be equal to n minus 1 choices will be n minus 1 and this will be also excluded because it cannot make a pair with itself so the total number of pairs this second can make is 1 2 3 and that is their n minus 2 so you can see there are total of 5 numbers and this can make 3 pairs so n minus 2 so n minus 2 and after that same for this number so this can make pair of n minus 3 number so 1 2 so that is here 5 minus 3 that is 2 so n minus 3 and this will go up to 0 right because uh, this number at last this number cannot make any pair so it will make 0 pair so that is our formula that is our basic formula n minus 1 n minus 2 n minus 3 and uh, you can see it is from 0 so you can uh, you can simply check 0 to 0 1 2 up to up to n minus 1 so that formula will be equal to n into n minus 1 by 2 
so that is the sum of first n minus one number but uh, when we have sub sum of first n numbers so we will just uh, we will just write here n plus one but uh, we don't have this n so we will just write here n into n minus one by two so that is the formula we have to use when we have number of pairs which are same remainder so first of all we have to get same remainder so we will just uh, create an array that will have mode it have a size of k so that is the thing let me just show you again so first of all we have to create this array that will store our remainder values so this array and after that we have to traverse in all the numbers from our array and we have to write here modulo so first of all we will do 3 modulo 4 7 modulo 4 11 modulo 4 and we will get remainder so we will get remainder from i mod k and after doing remainder but we have we have some remainder and we will just increment the number that is on this index so we will just do on that array we will just increment this remainder value and after that we can just travel in this mod array i from mod and after that what we will do we can just get this is our zero value this is zero and this is also zero so if the value is not equal to zero so if i is not equal to zero then what we have to do so if i is not equal to zero then we are here so we have three numbers so then we will just use this formula so we have three numbers so one two three which have their same remainder values so if there are three numbers which have same remainder values then uh, what we will do we will just say answer plus equal to n into so we will just do here n into n minus 1 by 2 and here our n is equal to i so we have total of i numbers which have a same remainder and at last we will return our answer so let me just check you here time complexity will be so this mode array so this mode array have a length of k so here time complexity is k and here in this array we have n so total complexity is n plus k so time complexity is n plus k okay we have to also define this answer so and the total space complexity is o of k so that is the expected time and space complexity and uh, let me just submit it now so you will get this solution in our dsa repository and if you like this video if you understood this approach then uh, do that do like this video and also subscribe to our channel and uh, thank you for watching